125 miles east of the Spanish mainland, the largest Balearic island, Mallorca, remains one of Europe's most popular holiday destinations. Millions of tourists visit each year to sun themselves in one of the resorts found mostly on the island's 340-mile coastline. Beyond the beach, however, Mallorca is said to have six distinct landscapes, including the undulating peaks of the Serra de Tramontana and Esplan, the flat and bucolic plains at its centre. And it's this geographical variety, packed within an island just 60 miles wide, which has made this balmy corner of Europe such a big hit with tourists on two wheels. Since the late 1990s, Mallorca has been welcoming cyclists from all over the world. And now more than 300,000 of them turn up every single year, creating an industry worth more than 250 million euros. Unlike the relatively short summer holiday season between July and September, Mallorca's promotion of cycling tourism has helped spawn a 365-day-a-year economy. Because cyclists are on the hunt for the road less travelled, they gravitate towards the small villages rather than the busy towns. And in doing so, they help spread money around the entire island rather than in just a few tourist centres. I'm not sure if it gets much more Mallorcan than this, surrounded by olive and almond trees and all done under 300 days of sunshine every single year. It's no surprise that Mallorca has come to be known as the cycling capital of Europe. With its quiet roads and friendly motorists, Mallorca has become the unofficial headquarters for dozens of cycling teams and professionals who base themselves here during the off-season. I think, I think Mallorca is one of the best places for cycling in the world. I think Mallorca for the landscape is perfect because we have mountains, we have the beach, we have flat. Summer all day, all the winter is like a summer. Over the course of his 13-year career, Mallorcan-born Joan Horak competed in 16 Grand Tours. You were a professional, you're not anymore, but what gets you up every single morning and going out on your bicycle? Happiness, freedom, uh, I don't know. I think it's for a lot of people, they give, it's like a therapy. If I can cycle every day, I cycle every day because this makes me happy. This gives me like a freedom. You can have time for you in your head because when you are on the bike, you forget a little bit the problem. These days, Joan shares his time between guiding cyclists around the island and his next big challenge as a winemaker. He and his partners have set themselves the ambitious goal of producing the best wine in the world by 2027. Building wine is a little bit like a cycling life. You can compare a little bit cycling with a, with a winemaker. Harvest time is like, bam, a lot of hours, a lot of stress, a lot of work, and then the day after is nothing. So cycling is a little bit like this. There's no denying that for whatever level of cyclist you might be, Mallorca feels like a safe haven. Be it as a professional training for the Tour de France, or as a holiday maker riding 10 or 20 miles a day. There is a reverence for bikers and their bikes that you seldom find anywhere else in the world. And perhaps it's because this source of sustainable, green and healthy tourism taps right into the very heart of Mallorca's enduring spirit. Here the Mallorquin people really understand the importance of the cycling on the island. It's, and that's why they respect more uh, the traffic and the, and the cars, they respect more the, the cyclists. That's why it makes it also special for uh, cyclists coming from outside to because they can see and they can feel this uh, respect. And in terms of that cycling lifestyle, what would a perfect day look like for you? I wake up, I have some coffee, some breakfast, then I go riding with friends, we do three, four hours, then we suffer a bit, come back home, have something to eat and go to, go to the beach with my girlfriend. That's, that's a perfect day. One of the things I like the most is the coffee places they have open here and, and restaurants as well. And, but mostly all the cycling cafes, the food they serve is amazing. And when you go out for dinner, uh, you, have, um, you have a lot of choices. I think what I love about cycling around an island is doing a circumnavigation of a place rather than just going from A to B. 
And the special thing about Mallorca is just the range of different landscapes. One minute you're going through a quaint little village, the next you're cycling through the countryside. You could be at the top of a mountain after a couple of hours. It's taken me about half a day to reach the north of the island, but here I am now, surrounded by ocean. 